Hey there! So, today I would love to take you on a little adventure. I've told you before that swimming in Venice is banned. Well, there are a few places where it is allowed. And one of them is the beach of Lido di Venezia. I was here before and every time I walked all the way from the water bus stop to the public beach. And on my way back, I would take the bus. By the way, it felt really weird to take a normal bus after such a long time of walking or traveling aboard a boat. This time I felt like doing a challenge and use the bus on the way there instead of on the way back. My initial thought was like, how hard could it be? Yeah, it turned out much trickier than I had thought. So, after waiting at a wrong stop, then almost getting on a bus that would take me in the wrong direction, I had to hop off in the last second and was very, very close to giving up and walking to the beach again. When I was like, no, one last try, I can do this. And I made it. You know what's terrible? I've shared so many videos and stories with you and I can't remember talking about the so well-known San Marco Square. I know I have mentioned it a couple times, but never really spoke about it. Well, to be honest, during the high season, the square simply is crowded. The only time when it is not is early in the morning or when it is raining. And trust me, I would say it is worth seeing this square empty. I am sorry for not having a proper video of that. For some reason, I never took the camera with me in the morning. The square looks literally like from another world. Honestly, I can't begin to imagine what it must have been like to build something so grand without the technologies we have right now. It makes these structures even more impressive. In my opinion, the basilica itself is maybe too much. Just to be clear here, I think everything here is beyond beautiful. And these are just my personal preferences because I just happen to love the old procuracies more. And I adore it even more during the night. If you don't think this is extraordinary, then I don't know what else would take your breath away. Today's video is pretty short, I know. Well, there were some exams I had to pass at school, and it's Christmas, and that took away a lot of time too. I hope you can forgive me that. So, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed your time here. Have a beautiful day, and I will see you again soon. Bye!